Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to practice being detectives. And we are going to start by playing the game I spy with my little eye. So I'm going to look around my physical space here on the screen. I'm going to look at my little square. I'm going to look on this big, beautiful slide that's up. And I'm going to say, I spy with my little eye something orange. So maybe we look around, we say orange, orange, orange. Okay. Is it a flower? I say, nope, it's not a flower. I say, is it an apple? And I say, nope, it's not an apple. Do you see something that's orange on the screen? If you said star, then you would be right. And so this is what it's like to kind of take some time to look for clues in our world using things we can see. But sometimes when we are playing detective, we're playing detective about things that we cannot see. Things like our thoughts, things we're thinking about, and our emotions, things that we're feeling. And so last week, you may remember, we got some practice trying to share about our thoughts and our feelings with emojis, right? We said, can we use an emoji to help us share what we're feeling and how we're thinking? And we're actually gonna try that again. We're gonna use emojis and we're gonna play being a detective with our thoughts and our feelings again, because it takes practice. But first, I wanna talk about something that Jesus teaches us in the book of Matthew. So Matthew is the first book in the New Testament, and it's a whole book that talks about the stories of Jesus's life, things that happened in Jesus's life. And you may have heard of something called the Sermon on the Mount. If you've heard of the Sermon on the Mount, can you give two hands in the air? Wah, wah, yes. So what do you think a sermon is? Do you have any guesses about what a sermon is? Sometimes when I ask kids what sermons are, they say it's really long and it talks about stories. And these would all be true. Sermons can take a little bit of time. They talk about stories. And sermons are specifically where we talk about our spiritual life, things happening in our spiritual experience. So Jesus was talking to people about their spiritual lives. And do you know what a mount is? at least in this context? Yes, a mount is short for a mountain. And so Jesus had gone up on a mountain to talk to the people. And that made a lot of sense because when you're on a mountain, you're high up. So lots of people can see you. And sometimes in mountain areas, there's a little bit of an echo, which is kind of like a microphone. So if there's a lot of people, that'll help the people be able to hear. And so Jesus was giving this long sermon on a mountain. And one of the things he said during that teaching came from Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. He said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. So Jesus tells them, asking questions is a very good thing. And that is lucky for us because we are working on being detectives of ourselves, right? And Jesus is telling us, asking helps us get answers. Can you say that with me? Asking helps us get answers. Yes. And so we're gonna be practicing two questions. The first question, what was I thinking or feeling? That's our first detective question. Our second detective question, what did I need when I was thinking or feeling that way? And so we're gonna use our emoji faces to help us do that. So first, we are going to use our emoji face to say, what was I thinking or feeling? And once we find an emoji face to match that, then we're going to say, what did I need 
when I was thinking or feeling that way. So just as an example, earlier this week, when I woke up, my throat felt kind of funny and it didn't really hurt, right? It wasn't that bad, but it didn't feel normal either. And so I felt nervous, kind of like, do you see the second line down the very first emoji? It's like, Err. I felt kind of nervous because I thought, oh my goodness, am I okay? I hope I'm not getting sick. I mean, maybe hopefully I was just sleeping with my mouth open, like, right? Maybe I took in too much dry air last night, but that was my story. I felt nervous because my throat felt a little funny. And then I said, okay, what do I need right now? And I played a little bit of detective. I said, let me try drinking some water. And that wasn't quite right. So I said, let me try sucking a cough drop. And that helped a little. And then I said, you know what? Maybe I'm a little bit tired from being so busy. And so maybe I need an easier workout, like just a gentle workout. So I tried that. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna pray because I'm gonna need God's help in all this, I think. So I said, God, would you help me with my health? And I actually did that for a few days until I felt more like myself again. And so that is a little bit about how I played detective in my own life. And we can all do this. So you too could take a turn. You could say, okay, what story do I have in mind? What was I thinking or feeling? What emoji would match what I was thinking or feeling? What did I need while I was thinking or feeling that way? So if you want, you can pause the video now and try that yourself. And whether you did or didn't, hello, welcome back. And so just like doing that with something that's happened in the past, just like when we look backwards and say, okay, what happened and what did I need at that moment? We can also play that game in our present moment. So we're walking about in our lives and something happens. Maybe we're hanging out and suddenly our mood changes. When that happens, we can take that moment to say, okay, what's happening? Why did my mood change? What am I feeling right now? And so maybe we realize like, oh, maybe I suddenly started to feel embarrassed or maybe I felt ignored right now, whatever it is, whatever we were feeling. First, we figure out that. And then we ask, what do I need right now? So if I'm feeling ignored, maybe what I need is to tell someone I feel ignored. But maybe if I'm feeling so upset, maybe I need a break, right? Maybe I need to walk away, maybe get a drink of water, take a break and then come back and maybe then share my feelings. So what am I feeling? And what do I need? But first we ask feels, what are my feelings? And then we ask need, what do I need right now? And so that is something we can practice together this week if you want. I'm gonna be doing that. Do you wanna practice with me? Do you wanna try being a detective of yourself? Asking the question, knocking, looking for the answer. Do you wanna try that with me? All right, I hope you will be. So why don't I pray for us and then we can air high five each other on out of here and we can try this stuff all week long. Lord Jesus, I thank you for my friends. I thank you for each and every one of them. And as we are going about our week, would you help us to be able to take this moment to pause, to figure out what we need, based on what we're feeling. Would you help us to find our emotion and figure out what we need? Would you show us that? Would you help us remember to ask? Because when we ask, you can give answers. Amen. All right, everybody, big high fives, boop. It's good to be with you today and I'll see you again soon. Bye everybody.